Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the very first Excel 2010 uh, tutorial. This is going to be a basic introduction of the interface and uh, in a brief overview. Uh, so a couple things I want to mention first is I have a website uh, that I post all of the YouTube videos so they're all in order. There's already a, I'm a whole series of uh, Excel and Word and PowerPoint tutorials uh, for 2007 out there and so now this is the start of uh, 2010 uh, tutorials. So feel free to visit that. I won't have them posted right away, but I will eventually get them all out there. Uh, so a couple things. One thing you'll notice, uh, it's a little looks a little bit different from 2007. Uh, but a couple things that are very familiar here are it still has the ribbon type layout where you have the different category tabs here uh, that you can go into, whether it's insert or you know data to sort data or whatever. We'll get into these as the tutorials move forward. Um, your home tab is where you'll spend a lot of your time because it has a lot of the basic functions on there like the you know fonts and colors and um, uh, alignments and find button and so forth and then uh, another thing is if you're coming from office 2007 you'll notice that the Microsoft Office button which was up here in the corner is now gone so it's back to using the file menu so if you click on the file menu here uh, what you get is a um, something very similar to what the Microsoft Office button was and uh, a couple other things here so you've got the info you got several options here as you can see save open and so forth under information this is just info on the um, about your um, Excel uh, your recent is your recent files um, new print those are all self-explanatory and then if you go into options here you'll get this traditional option uh, interface here that you would get under the Microsoft Office button. So you've got general, like if you want to change something like the, I don't know, your default font size as an example, um, formulas, um, proofing, you know, so you can go through these and we'll get into these as the tutorials move forward. But another thing you can do here is you can go and you can customize the ribbon, right, which is again that menu system here right up here so you can go in and customize that and like for example if you want to add cut into a ribbon here you could you know just highlight it and click add and it would add it over there and you can likewise remove things highlight them over here and, and remove them and then the quick access toolbar is this menu up here or these options up here where you can put common things that you use on a regular basis and there's a couple ways to edit that. So for example, if I want to add copy on my quick access toolbar up here, I would highlight it and click add. And then I would click OK. And you'll notice now that I have a copy option up there. Alright, so another thing is I'm going to go ahead and get out of that now. We'll talk about add-ins and trust center in, in later tutorials. But I'm going to cancel out of that. And another way to edit the quick access toolbar is to hit the little pull down menu here and go ahead and um, go into here, into more commands, and you'll get back to that same menu. And let's assume I want to get rid of copy. I will go ahead and just highlight it and hit remove. And I'll say OK, and now you notice it's gone. All right, so those are some of the basics. Um, the other thing is up here in the top right, uh, you'll have, um, this will close out your spreadsheet. This will maximize or minimize your uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to, I know that it went off the screen. Um, so that, it will look slightly different if it's, um, if it's maximized, it'll have a different look to that middle button, but you can minimize it. And then this will minimize it down to the, um, taskbar here or down to the down to the bottom of your uh, screen here so those are the basics uh, let me do that one more time and then it'll come up and it'll say actually say restore down not minimize there all right the X here will close your window and just close out this Excel file and then this will do um, the same functionality for your worksheet that you're working on all right so the only other thing that I really want to share with you is that up here in the top here you will see um, the title of your document and 
actually there's a few more things I want to share with you so down here you've got your worksheets you can name these you can call that I can change this and I can just highlight it and type over it and say intro and then let's assume that I wanted four worksheets I can just click this button right here and it will insert a new worksheet alright and it will in insert since I don't have a sheet one it just named it sheet one if I do another one it would be sheet four alright and then uh, a few more things here you can use this bottom option here to zoom in and zoom out all right so let me go back to this one so if you want to make it larger or smaller you can click on that and then finally um, you can change the view uh, more on a normal view you can change it to a page layout view or a page break preview but I'm going to go back and just change it to the normal one all right and that's all I really want to share with you for this tutorial uh, Please subscribe, and if you want to look at more tutorials, please visit the website. Take care. Thank you.